Hello, so it is another day in isolation, well, semi-isolation, I suppose. And we had to go out this morning um, because I've run out of eggs and I got, my mum got me the ingredients to make a quiche for Edie because I thought that'd be something that could make quite a few lunches and I can um, freeze it. So I've got all the ingredients except eggs. So I need to go out and get some eggs. I've been awake all night with a migraine, so I felt ill yesterday, as I said, and it turns out that the reason I've had such a bad head is because I've had a migraine brain. I feel better now, but I just feel wiped out and drained. I've got eye cream coming, peeling off my face. So yeah, I feel, that's why I look like death, because I feel a bit like death. So yeah, um, we went this morning. So a uh, backtrack, backtrack. So Sainsbury's are doing um, half past seven, they are opening for the NHS for half an hour. And then for an hour, eight or nine, they are opening for the, supposedly el opening for the elderly and the vulnerable. So we got there for 20 past seven. Bear in mind that I've been awake all night, I felt rough. I had to get Edie up, she, we were both in our pajamas. Um, so we could see, I saw the NHS people lining up and at half seven they were let in and they were being ID checked and everything, which is fantastic. That's what we need. <clears throat> we then got in the queue for the elderly and the vulnerable and we were like about 15 from the front. Everyone was two meters apart, so it's okay. And we waited for half an hour. So I was like sat on the floor for half an hour, which is not good for my pain. Um, and then at eight o'clock, and bear in mind the queue was building and building and building and a lot of people were elderly but most people didn't look elderly or vulnerable it just looked like normal people going for their shop and um yeah at eight o'clock uh, they opened the doors and the person doing the id checking disappeared so they were just letting anyone in everyone rushed forward so although i was near the front everyone ran past me um, and there was an elderly lady behind me who was like, getting really upset. She was like, but why are you pushing past me? I was waiting. Um, and they didn't have any eggs. <laughs> so literally there was no point in queuing because everyone just pushed past. Are you doing the dancing? So we've just been set outside in the garden, so it was nice to get a little bit of fresh air. Um, I'm trying to get through to Sainsbury's to find that to register myself as a vulnerable customer because then you get priority delivery slots, but um, yeah, can't get through. So I'll I'll try and update you later and let you know if, because um, we've got enough food till like the end of the week. Um, fresh stuff is more of a problem than, and cleaning stuff as well is more of a problem than, because I've got enough like cupboard stuff and freezer, I've definitely got enough freezer stuff. So. Who knows? Oh my dear God, what a day we're having. It is Tuesday. I spoke, to, I did film uh, yesterday, so I need to just get on my stool. I did film yesterday briefly. So as I said, I didn't feel very well. I honestly, yes, there was a write off. I had the migraine in the morning and it kind of got better throughout the day, but it was still sort of, yeah, is that a fishy? Where's the fishy? Yeah, good girl. Where's the doggy? Good girl. Um, yeah, so throughout the day, I slowly kind of got better, but just, you know, my getting better still means I'm in pain. <laughs> so it's, um, I felt better than I did, so that's good. Obviously, last night was announced that the UK is going on lockdown. Um, so that's kind of, I mean, it's not a massive difference. The only difference is really, is that, um, like for me, is that... For like Edie's birthday, we're not gonna be able to, she's not gonna be able to see my family and stuff. <sighs> Try not to think about that. We're gonna have a delayed birthday for her. That's fine. And I actually thought it was initially for 12 weeks. And then my mum said, no, it's for three weeks initially. And then it's probably gonna be extended. But I was like, oh, that's fine. It, I went from 12 weeks, shit, okay, bleh, 
three weeks. We can deal with that. Three weeks of better than 12. Um, and today, Edie is just, she has not stopped crying all morning. Like, she's so grisly. She's either coming down with something, which I really hope she isn't. Um, because obviously we've likely been exposed to the virus by now. Um, she could be teething. Or it could be entering the terrible twos. So that's fun. She just doesn't. Is, is you in the terrible twos? Yeah? Say hi. Yeah. She's just been super grisly. She's cheered up now. She's reading her favourite book, which is her learning book. But oh my God. Like, she's a very easy child. She I've never had a sleepless night with her because she's just so happy and chilled but jesus christ just it's like a different baby today i mean she's as i said she's a bit better now but she's just been super grisly and if she falls down or you know as babies you drop something then normally she just be like, oh. but she's like crying over it and being really really clingy and i need to tidy up the house because there's shit everywhere um also look at this this is the result of washing my hands i've got really i mean i have eczema under my eyes and on my hands anyway but yeah, um, it's a bit fucked. <laughs> so I think I need some cream for it, but I don't want to go to the doctors because, you know, I don't want to uh, risk exposing me and Edie. Um, still can't get any delivery slots for the shopping. So come Friday, especially now that everyone's on lockdown, there's less people to help me out. So um, yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, as I said, we're okay to the end of the week and then we're going to be a bit screwed. So, yeah. Are you happy? Oh, that's lovely. Oh, look, she's cuddling her distus. Is that what you want? You just want to cuddle your distus? Do you love your distus? Distus. So, yeah, today is going to be a really boring day. I'll try and film some more this afternoon, but I did say that yesterday. Yeah, are you doing a poo? Is that why you're so excited? You're doing a poo? Yeah, you're doing a poo. Okay. I will uh, speak to you in a bit. We have got to pop out to pick up some medicine for Dexter from the vet. Um, it's safe to do because vets is the, one of the places that can stay open. They're leaving the medicine outside the door. So, and I've already paid, um, paid over the phone. It feels really weird. It feels kind of apocalyptic out here because everywhere's quiet throughout my life when i've been through something that's been mentally challenging or difficult i've been going through it not alone but alone because no one else was going through it it was me going through it but this is something that we're all going through so although i feel isolated and alone because i am isolated anyway i it feels less it doesn't feel lonely like mentally it's weird because we're all going through it so you know <laughs> yeah is that just us so yeah it's just it's really 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 weird um so yeah we're off to the vets and i'll speak to you later i look horrendous i've also got the hiccups which is going to piss me off when i'm editing editing this um i'm going to end the video here because it's been a trying day. I've, I've not only had a really, really bad headache again, but Edie is so grisly and clingy and just not herself. So yeah, I'll um, film another of my exciting days t tomorrow. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.